Okay, so I'm gonna make up some apricot syrup. It used to be something that I bought in the store. It's been a while since I've seen it. it. Used to be like with the regular syrup, like the Smuckers where they sell blackberry and strawberry syrup and stuff like that. But I don't see apricot anymore, so we we make our own. So I've got these apricots. I already uh, washed them and pitted them. And so I put them in the pot and it looks like it's quite full because they're all still slightly firm. But I put them in the pot and I, in this pot with all these apricots, I put maybe a quarter to a half a cup of water and I put it on the stove to simmer for probably about 20 to 30 minutes to get them soft and then I'll put them in the blender to make a puree out of them. Okay, so this is after the apricots have cooked for, I think it's been about 30 minutes. You can see how the fruit has softened and released a lot of its liquid. This was only half a cup of water that we put in and the apricots were all the way full, like packed into the top. And this is what it turns into. They shrink down quite a bit. And so now um, I'll put this, the liquid and all, into my blender to make the apricot puree. Okay, so we've got our apricots all pureed. And I do it with the skins on. You can take the skins off if you don't like it, but I I think it comes out just as good. You don't need to waste any more fruit. So we put it in a bigger pan. And now I take this butter and put butter just on the top edge here, on the inside kind of. And it helps keep the syrup Oops, from boiling over because it will boil over <laughs> very easily so the recipe calls for six cups of puree and six cups of sugar and it really just you just do equal amounts so I actually happen to end up with 24 cups of puree so we will be adding this plus more sugar to have the right ratio and then we'll add the lemon juice which helps the syrup keep its color. And you can leave the lemon juice out if you want. So now we cook this uh, till it gets to 215 degrees, and then it'll be ready to can. And you wanna make sure that you stir it pretty much almost constantly because it foams up and, and gets out of control really quick. Okay, so here it is, it's coming up. It's almost to 215 degrees. I don't know if you can really tell on the thermometer. It's almost up as high as the temperature thing is. Um, anyway, you can see it. It's right there. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot. Anyway, um, so it's almost there. You can see how it is, especially if you don't stir it. It immediately just gets out of control very quick. So definitely needs constant stirring, but also gentle stirring because this is so hot and it will burn so bad if you get it on yourself. So, and definitely don't want it to boil over because it's a horrible sticky mess. This is 50% sugar plus what's in the fruit. So it is, yeah, it's a horrible mess to clean up. Oh, there, I splashed myself. Whew, tastes good though. Anyway, I've got my jars ready over here. And um, now that it's at 215, I will turn it all the way down to the very lowest setting just to keep it warm because it does need to be hot to go into the jars. Wow.